Yo, welcome back to the flat world. This is episode 62, I think. Is it 60? Is that 60? Is it 70? No, that's 70. 50. I think it's 60. So. Hmm. Anyways, welcome back to the flat world. Today we are going to set up that pigman farm once and for all. Uh, up we go. <laughs> this is fun. Great way to start the episode. Action packed, fun filled, climbing ladders. Playing King of the Ladder. Whoa, oh, oh, oh no, playing King of the Ladder with myself. I just knocked myself down. I'm definitely going to, oh, look at him. Look at him fall. Ah, <laughs> he just hit the ground too hard. Yeah, this is what it's like playing on a single player world for the majority of your time. You get kind of lonely. And you start talking to yourself, go a little crazy. Okay, so let's uh, let's get rid of this crap show. All right, so we got to rebuild this, but somewhere else, because um, you guys were kind enough to point out to me that I was stupid enough to place my portal directly on top of uh, where I had my minecart thing. So, um... Uh, yeah, good one, Mog Swamp. Anyways, uh, we we gotta have ladder, block, block. Okay, I think I can figure this out. So, ladder. I actually don't know how to do this, <laughs> or like I don't really remember. Block, block, maybe, like that. I'm gonna say it's like that. Did I? Where's my other track? I should have gotten two tracks from that, right? Uh, no, actually no, because you delete one of the tracks. Crap. So how am I going to do this? Do I need another track? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I need to go get another track. Hold on. Uh, ow. Oh, crap. I did <laughs> didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, here we are, and I was kind enough to be joined by some ghasts. Uh, that was improper. Some ghasts were kind enough to join me, I think is what I meant to say. And, uh, so yeah, we got that going for us. Let's figure this out. Um, that ain't right. No way in hell. Um, do I, I think I just go like this, sort of place it on this guy. No, I can't. Ugh, I don't, th I don't know if I can do it here, actually. Unless I can. Ugh. Let's try and find a new spot, because this spot's a pain in the butt. Um, there's got to be a spot around here somewhere. Ah, here we are. Maybe. Yeah, this will work. Wait, does it go higher than I thought it did? Huh. This will work fine. <laughs> okay, um... So we've got our two, two block tall space. We put a block here, and a block here. Oh, this is a pain. Uh, it's so claustrophobic. Okay, we put a block here, put that there, put that there, connect up, push, push the minecart. Okay. This spot doesn't work. I I don't know how to Aha. There we go. I think I delete this now. And I've got the ladder there. I think we're good to go. I think. And here we go. 
Damn it. No! Ah, crap. <laughs> Why did I do that? Uh I hate this glitch. Stupid, worthless. Yeah, these gas sure are crazy. Did you hear that weird one? That was weird. All right, we're back. Let's see how much stuff was swallowed up. All of it, all of it is up there. The minecart's back down. No, no. No. Oh, why does that happen? Uh, let me out. This is infuriating. Oh my goodness. All my stuff's up there. I'll figure this out. Ugh, it's gonna take me a couple minutes. Hold on. Alright, guys. I think I'm finally ready to go to the roof of the nether. I think I finally figured it out. I've done it a couple times already. So. Okay, nope. Nope. There we go. Got it. You got to be holding forward. So I got my portal ready here. Um, I thought I had some ladders, but I don't know what I did with them. So we're going to build a zombie pigment farm right here. And first thing to do, I guess, would be to make another crafting table. And make a chest. And put stuff in the chest. Um, we're going to want a bunch of ladders. So get some sticks. Make some ladders. Uh, more than that. There we go. Hopefully that should be plenty. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Hopefully this should be plenty. Oh, my mouse is dying dead. My mouse just died. Hold on. Okay, got some brand new batteries now in my uh, mouse. So let's make enough ladders this time, hopefully. Ugh, that was terrible. There we go. Okay, that should be enough, maybe uh, cl close to enough. So... Let us build up a platform now, um, and we're going to go to the sky limit, and basically we're just going to build a bunch of platforms up here and let the zombie pigmen fall off. Um, there's a few designs you can do. You can do one where uh, you use your bow to... Uh, attract a whole bunch of pigmen towards you and they all fall, but I think I'd rather um, Do the one uh, That's more automatic and I saw it uh, lately on Jendo's channel and he's a uh, He's a guy that I found just recently and he does minecraft stuff. Whoa Yep, and he does Minecraft stuff, uh, but he only has like 45 subscribers, so I'm going to put his channel in the uh, description, and you guys should go over and show him some love, because he has an actually uh, really good channel. Uh, so, yeah, and last I checked, he, he had 45. He, he might have some more by now, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed with his channel, and I think you guys will like it too. Uh, his videos are a bit quiet, his but... Uh, just got to turn your volume up a bit, <laughs> but that's that's about the only thing that I can think of. Um, the only downside. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on making those platforms, and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that. All right, guys, I am in the Nether, and 
you can see uh, I've got my fully functional nether chicken farm and for some reason weird frame rate troubles that's odd um, yeah so I've created inadvertently another chicken farm there were a ton of these guys but a lot of them wandered off or I slayed them I killed quite a bit of them basically I created a so, so let me talk about um, the farm first of all I created a zombie pigman farm and um, essentially it's a very very simple farm way up there it's one um, one row of platforms with hatches to encourage the pigmen to walk off the edge and um, that's pretty much it it's just one row of platforms way up in the sky and it spawns a bunch of pigmen and then they fall to their death where a minecart with a hopper uh, attempts to collect all their um, drops now I say attempts because it has failed many times um, at first when I was doing this I would leave my computer and I would come back you know like half an hour later and the farm wouldn't be spawning anything anymore and I could not figure out why um, and to be honest it still kind of per perplexes me so I messaged Cabo about it we were doing some um, diagnostics and couldn't really come up with a definitive answer um, he did uh, make me realize that in this space um, magma cubes can spawn which I had forgotten about uh, prior but um, that doesn't seem so first of all um, when I came down there wouldn't be many drops uh, in the collection point so it would seem that something was messing up the minecart but the first couple times I came down uh, no mobs were spawning, but the minecart was going just fine. So I, that's what I can't explain. What I can explain is now, um, for some reason, the mobs that that problem has fixed has fixed itself, where the mobs would stop spawning. Now the mobs continue to spawn no matter what, um, or at least they were after eight hours of my sleeping, which is a pretty good bet, um, and because I left this on all night. And when I got down here, there were tons and tons of chickens. Um, and I've already been killing all. I should have showed it when I first got down here. But um, basically what's happening with the chickens is uh, they, they're getting under there and disrupting the minecart. Um, but the reason they're spawning in the first place is because um, there's this bug in the newest version of the game where baby uh, zombies, chicken jockeys spawn, right? Um, and they can spawn in the nether. And basically what happens is the the chicken jockeys spawn way up there on the platforms and then they walk off the edge and they float down but since the chickens uh, flap down the zombie the baby zombies don't die and then what you're left with is a bunch of baby uh, chickens jockeys down here and then since I'm up so high the um, the baby zombies despawn and just leave the chickens and there's just a bunch of chickens in the nether once once that's done so I'm gonna get that going again, but I have created a fully functional nether chicken farm <laughs> requiring no chicken uh, prior to making the farm, might I add. Uh, but yeah, it is pretty hilarious. And uh, But yeah, I, I have been collecting a pretty good amount of gold anyhow. Uh, not, not a lot, but it's an okay amount. I mean, we've got more here, I guess. That's pretty good. Um, so we can convert this to gold right now, uh, but but yeah, it's not it's not a huge amount, but it's not it's not bad. Um, so we can do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then gonna have to. Uh, I should have I should have planned this out better, but yeah, as you can see, we're we're getting a little bit of gold here, so uh, it's not it's not a bad farm. I like it. And it's kind of it, it was very very low effort uh, again it's just temporary I, I'd like to build something better eventually when the time comes and ideally I want I've always wanted a, a ghast farm like that has been my dream since a, a very long time ago I'll, I'll say that um, I remember seeing one somewhere on YouTube and it was the first one I ever saw and it was huge and complex and 
Uh, since then, I'm sure they've gotten a lot better. But it was basically the only one that was out there, and it was like my eyes were twinkling when I saw it. So I'd like to design um, or piggyback off of someone else's design and build a fully functional farm up here that handles um, ghasts, magma cubes, pigmen, and that, yeah. And then uh, the blaze and the wither skeletons. I've got myself a good blaze farm. I've got myself a wither skeleton farm, but it doesn't work so great. So maybe I'll try to make another one of those eventually. But that's all there is for nether farms. So yeah, maybe someday I'll try to uh, trap a ghast in the overworld. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you guys what the farm looks up uh, up here. Looks like up here, excuse me, real quick. Um, again, it's something I got inspiration from Jendo. Um, I was going to build one of the ones where you shoot an arrow at them and they all fall down, but then I was like, wait, you just do an AFK one, and I saw it on his video because I've been watching his series, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to build that. Uh, he had a, a multi-level one. It was like five or so levels. I said, uh, why bother? Uh, I mean, look at the rate they're spawning. If I move closer, I think they're more likely to move around, and you can see they all tank, and every uh, every time... The numbers drop up here and you'll get a few more spawning and it'll run like this for hours and hours so as long as some chickens don't mess up your minecart um, you'll get all the drops and you should get a lot of stuff but yeah um, so that's it for this farm but uh, now with all the gold I've gotten I do want to trade some of it but um, first I want to uh, set up a cool idea I had uh, for minecart, uh, or rather abandoned mine tr minecart tracks, what do you call them? Abandoned mine shafts, uh, back at the Iron Golem place, because that's where I have those artificial caves and the artificial Minecraft landscape. So I'd like to build a uh, abandoned mine shaft connecting the wool, the Iron Golem farm, the portal, and the villager station. Uh, and there will be a system connecting all those things. And I saw a really cool guy on Reddit. So, so by the way, Jendo, Commander Jendo, um, the guy I was talking about, he only has uh, 45 subs the last time I checked. So he's awesome. But this other guy only has seven subscribers. That was his eighth subscriber. Found him on Reddit today. And he has a really cool design and idea for um, this awesome automatic. Yeah, you can see Golden Nuggets already coming in. Uh, this awesome automatic... Um, minecart loader, unloader, and pretty much like minecart switcheroo track. I don't know how else to say it. Um, but, oh, Jesus! Help! Help! <laughs> what the heck? Why do they all have swords? Oh, uh, I guess. Okay, hold on. Let me think about this. So the guys with swords have mob persistence, right? So they wouldn't have despawned. <laughs> I was not expecting that. The guy, Okay, the guys with swords have persistence, so they would not have despawned, which means they'll stay around forever. Um, and they went through the portal, but where did they spawn in the first place? They could have spawned down below while I was up, and rather than despawning immediately since they had the swords, but there's really no place for them to spawn. This is perplexing. <laughs> Mobs are so weird. I don't know what to do with all these guys. I kind of want to have like the most epic battle ever. I think I'm going to do it. Hold on. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys. Hopefully this is going to be a lot of fun. Hold on. Okay, up I go. You know, but why isn't there a ton of chickens? Because you saw where the nether portal was. You would have thought that a lot of chickens would have migrated through the portal. I don't know. Minecraft. Weird game. Okay. Let's do this. Are they all coming after me? Oh, they're not going to come after me. Okay, now they're coming after me. It's hard to see with all these damn particles in the way. I hope I was hoping they would climb up. Oh Jesus! <laughs> this 
This is awesome. I kind of want to keep them around, but at the same time, if I use this farm like another night while I sleep, uh, I'll get more anyways, so I don't really care. I might name a few of them uh, the next time I do it. I have some name tags. I also want to name a few of my sheep rainbow sheep. Apparently, if you name a sheep Jeb, you get a rainbow sheep. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. I want you guys to just hear... They're so mad. Every time I hit one of them, it's like... Okay, so where could they have spawned? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Jump. Why aren't I jumping? Wow. That guy did a lot of damage in one hit. I... This is too much fun. Chickens and gold. Chickens and gold. <laughs> Look at all the swords down there, too. I hope it hasn't been five minutes. I want to pick all that stuff up. Oh, they're climbing now. See, I was, when I first thought of this, I was picturing they would all be, like, climbing up the ladder. I would be standing at the top trying to fend them off in time. But it did not go that way, did it? Okay, gonna pick up some of this. Oh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, got some swords. Okay. Got some good stuff. Wow, that is absolutely hilarious. I was just thinking, the mountain really is looking cool from this angle. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. Almost looks like a real mountain. It's really cool. Hmm. One of these slimes is not like the others. Huh. It's this guy. <laughs> I entered the portal and got brutally murdered before I could even move. <laughs> so, um... Oh, Lord. Let's, uh... Let Let's go try and get my stuff back. This should be interesting. That portal's still disabled. I do not want to use that portal, that's for sure. The pigmen seem to be angry at me for killing hundreds of their overworld brethren. And in fact, they seem to be revolting against me. And doing quite a impressive job, mind you. Hmm. Well, this is a predicament. Rather perplexing, I do say. Um. Ah. I know what to do. I will. I will juke them out. I. I happen to have. A portal over here at the string farm that I in fact have no idea where it leads and I hope I have a few blocks I don't know if it goes all the way down let's just hope there's there's something for me over here hold on I I could probably take some of the string yeah make some wool blocks okay hold on This is my string farm, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Okay. I will... 
we may not get to the minecart track this this episode based on the way things have uh, been delaying me. Yeah, okay, good good choice bringing the string here. Make some wool blocks. See that? Clever. Boom. That is ingenuity, ladies and gentlemen, at its finest. Now, I don't know where this is going to take me, but it's probably nowhere good. In fact, it could be right into the hands of the enemy, but in fact, it seems as if I am safe for now. Now, the question remains... How do I get my things? Going to need to be extra careful here. Go. Leave. Are they mad? Yes, they're mad. Okay. <laughs> I will go over to the Iron Golem farm and hopefully that will be far enough that they will be encouraged to despawn. Unfortunately, I seem to have run out of food. Something that surely will not help me in my venture. Are these guys mad at me? The one of them is. And he seems to be heading my way. Along with his friends. With no hunger, I am forced to sprint. Or, I am sprintless. I am forced to walk. In terror. As the half pet... Half pig... Half zombies chase after me in high pursuit. I don't know how to get over to the Iron Golem. Oh, yeah, that's right. I go. I was like, I don't know what I am thinking. I was, I was taking the old route where I go way around up there. Wow, that was weird. Some of you probably don't even know about that route that I used to take. All right. Hopefully... This will be far enough that the zo that the uh, angry pigmen will despawn and proceed to leave me alone. Now my hopes are that when I return, the zombie pigmen will no longer be angry at me and in fact will have despawned. The unfortunate thing is that they all have swords and thus are most likely never going to despawn. Because they're persistent, right? I could be wrong. But we will see right now. And it seems that I was wrong. But are they angry with me? That is the question. Ow! 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 Day 41. There is no reasoning with these beasts. Their voices are that of Satan. Their hearts, non-existent. I've managed to collect some of my things, escaping with only a minor scratch. However, it seems that only some of my items remain. What you're looking at is all that remains of the once great inventory. A powerful bow, many great levels, and possibly more were sacrificed in the battle today. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Have they no mercy? Oh, God. Spare me. Back, foul beasts. Back to hell whence you belong. Whence you came from. I don't know. I I'm not that great at, at talking like that. What? Oh, Jesus. No! What happened? I was on the ladder. You saw. Uh, the cowards fight me, but I am without weapon. They swing their golden swords, and I swing my fists. They have achieved what I first presumed impossible. They have broken my spirit. Ah, those feisty beings. They have they have quelled? Que quenched? Crushed? I think quelled is... They have quelled the once free and wild spirit with which I... Um, with, damn. It's getting harder and harder to come up with good prose as I become more and more frustrated. <laughs> 
I uh, I just want my stuff back, man. Those 51 hoppers, I'm glad they survived. And that pick is also very nice. And I need those things back because well, I am not as rich as I once was on the flat world. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Back. I need some sort of weapon. Yes! A small victory. But no less appreciated. Oh, Jesus. Shall I continue my voyage? It's not a voyage, it's a battle. I won't. I will go back home and cower. Actually, no, I won't. I have a sword now. Where are these feisty... God damn you. Get back, I say. I hate my life. Okay. Here we go. Book time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so this week's comment was... He was slowly bringing life back... To the mountain that towers above him. Because it's relevant to the other episode. Um, I had a hard time picking this time too. But I'm trying to pick people I haven't done before. And this one was by Melissa Feeney. Who I don't think I did before. I could be wrong. Uh, we'll find out in a second. We're going to read the whole thing. Episode 63 I believe. Let me check that. Don't want to sign it before I know. Oh, God, it's, I think it's 62. Thank God I checked, huh? All right, sign and close. Here we go. Episode 58. There once was a name, man named Mog Swamp. He was a grumpy and greedy old man. He wanted... Oh, he always got what he wanted. And he wanted a lot of things. Many of the things he wanted weren't always there. He was slowly bringing life back to the mountain that towers above him. So right now it's semi-coherent. Um... He always got what he wanted, he wanted a lot of things, but many of the things he wanted weren't always there. So how's he going to get them? Huh? We'll find out. Um, and he was slowly bringing life back to the mountain that towers above him. This grumpy, greedy old man is an interesting guy. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. I'm going to leave Jendo's uh, channel in the description. And the other guy I was uh, talking about, with only seven subscribers... I will put in next episode when we use his cool designs for the minecarts. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.